In the opening scene of the movie, we're introduced to the popular blogger Jaeger, who is conducting another live stream, showcasing a five-minute drift to his audience of three million. Despite his popularity, some of his subscribers criticize him, labeling him as weak because he only drifts on smooth asphalt. In an attempt to counter these criticisms, Jaeger declares that he will venture to the Caucasus the next day to descend from a challenging mountain under extreme conditions, broadcasting the experience live. Dismissing the negative comments, Jaeger bids farewell to his audience and ends the live stream. Following the filming, Jaeger's manager, Alina, advises him to reconsider his behavior, emphasizing that negative comments are affecting their advertising contracts. Jaeger, however, reacts impulsively, blaming Alina for a recent less profitable deal and refusing to acknowledge the broader issues. Alina, in turn, reminds him of her essential role in securing their income and requests a higher share of the profits, proposing a 30% increase. Unwilling to accept the new terms, Jaeger dismisses Alina, confident in his ability to manage without her assistance, leaving him alone to deal with the situation. The following day, Jaeger sets off for the Caucasus, in high spirits, documenting every step of his journey and engaging with his viewers through a live broadcast. Shortly after arriving at the airport, Jaeger is greeted by Alexander, who is responsible for providing the car for filming. Jaeger immediately requests a joint selfie with Alexander, which he sends to his daughter Nina. Nina, who is seriously ill, finds solace in following Jaeger's life online to distract herself from sad thoughts, much to the dismay of her mother, Olya, who wishes for her to return to her artistic pursuits. At the airport, Alexander asks Jaeger to wait briefly while he retrieves the car. However, upon his return, Alexander informs Jaeger that the company supposed to provide the car encountered unexpected issues, leading to the cancellation of their agreement. Furious, Jaeger expresses his frustration, having already announced the live stream multiple times and feeling unable to backtrack. He decides to go live again, attempting to navigate the situation for his audience. Meanwhile, Alina and her assistant Katya observe Jaeger's live stream. Alina takes pleasure in Jaeger's setback, foreseeing challenges ahead for him while planning for her own future opportunities. When Jaeger attempts to reach out to Alina, she deliberately ignores his call. With no car available, Jaeger resorts to hiring a taxi and, accompanied by Alexander, embarks on a tour of local attractions. Jaeger documents their journey, but his audience, expecting different content, openly expresses boredom with the footage. As the driver guides them to the City of the Dead, they make a stop at the Karmanovsky Gorge, the site where the renowned Russian actor Sergei Bodrov tragically passed away. Although Jaeger struggles to recall who Bodrov was, he decides to share the actor's story with his audience. Upon returning to the car, Jaeger turns the camera towards Alexander, intending to have him share more about Bodrov. However, Alexander declines to be filmed and covers the camera with his hand. Jaeger, in a brash manner, asserts his authority, insisting that as a star, he dictates what and whom to film. Despite Jaeger's rude behavior, Alexander remains composed, stepping out of the car to seek a signal and call his daughter. Meanwhile, Nina expresses her gratitude to her father for the photo and inquires about Jaeger's coolness, to which Alexander affirms, avoiding any conflict with his daughter. During this time, Jaeger further damages his relationship with the driver through his disrespectful conduct. Disturbed by Jaeger's behavior, the driver removes all of his belongings from the trunk and departs, leaving Jaeger stranded with Alexander somewhere in the mountains. As they approach the City of the Dead, Jaeger persists in entertaining his followers. Realizing the lack of interesting content, Jaeger decides to take a dip in the icy mountain river, handing his phone to Alexander to capture the moment. As they draw nearer to the river, Jaeger decides against proving to his followers the water's iciness, deeming it not worth the effort. However, unexpectedly, Alexander opts to take a plunge. As he disrobes, Jaeger notices significant scars adorning his back. Curious, Jaeger inquires about them, but Alexander cryptically attributes them to work-related incidents. Jaeger resumes engaging with his audience, when suddenly his girlfriend, Asya, initiates a video call. Still reeling from a recent argument, Asya expresses her disappointment over Jaeger's prolonged silence. Amidst their conversation, they reconcile briefly, only to find themselves embroiled in another dispute soon after. Meanwhile, having completed his swim, Alexander strolls along the riverbank, unwittingly triggering a landmine. As panic grips him, Alexander finds himself paralyzed, knowing that any movement could lead to immediate danger. Desperately reaching for his phone, he discovers it's dead. Upon Jaeger's return, Alexander adamantly prevents him from approaching, revealing the terrifying truth. He stepped on a landmine, 
Urging Jaeger to summon emergency services, Alexander's plea is initially met with disbelief, as Jaeger assumes it's a prank. However, as the gravity of the situation sinks in, rather than calling for help, Jaeger opts to initiate another live broadcast. Despite Alexander's protests, Jaeger insists, citing the lack of network coverage and his intention to provide rescuers with footage upon their arrival. Jaeger proceeds to film Alexander from various angles, attempting to capture the mind's presence as closely as possible. Curious about Alexander's assessment, Jaeger questions why he believes it's a mine. Alexander explains that he recognized a distinct clicking sound, reminiscent of his experiences in Chechnya. After setting up the phone on a tripod, Jaeger leaves to seek assistance with another device. Meanwhile, Nina watches Jaeger's live stream and spots her father, prompting her to call him in a panic, only to find his phone switched off. Alina and Katya, initially preoccupied with mundane filming, become intrigued by Jaeger's situation and decide to contact him. Witnessing the unique and potentially viral content, Alina reaches out to Jaeger, offering apologies and proposing to return to their previous working arrangement. Jaeger agrees, under the condition that she secures lucrative contracts and publicly apologizes. Realizing that the arrival of rescuers could disrupt his content, Jaeger makes the calculated decision to prolong the broadcast, deceitfully informing Alexander that emergency services are en route. Having endured 36 agonizing minutes atop the mine, Alexander discerns that Jaeger's motives aren't aligned with rescue efforts. However, Jaeger counters, asserting that Alexander is fortunate to be in his company because the livestream will catapult him to global fame. He insists that the more viewers they attract, the quicker the arrival of top-notch rescuers. With no escape route in sight, Alexander reluctantly agrees to field live questions from viewers. Meanwhile, in a remote snowy village, emergency worker Alan returns home to find his sons engrossed in Jaeger's livestream. Intrigued, Alan decides to investigate and is horrified to recognize Alexander as the skinhead responsible for his sister's demise years ago. Convinced of the identity, Alan rushes to the filming location. In the midst of the crisis, Alina contacts Jaeger again, revealing that she has secured several lucrative contracts and renegotiated with previous advertisers for collaboration. As an hour and a half elapses since the incident, with Alexander succumbing to the freezing conditions, he once more pleads for his jacket. Disregarding his discomfort, Jaeger suggests he don a sweatshirt emblazoned with the logo of a contracted company. As Alexander's suspicions grow regarding the authenticity of the situation, Jaeger provocatively proposes that he step off the mine to verify its reality. Despite the temptation, Alexander remains steadfast, unwilling to gamble with his life. Refusing Jaeger's offer to wear the branded sweatshirt, Alexander remains resolute, even when tempted with financial incentives. However, when Jaeger discovers that Alexander's daughter, Nina, is among the viewers, he cruelly taunts Alexander, suggesting he send greetings to her. Enraged by Jaeger's callousness, Alexander seizes him by the throat, demanding the cessation of the live stream. As Nina's concern for her father escalates, she is overwhelmed with worry and inadvertently falls off her bed, losing consciousness. In a desperate plea, Alexander implores Jaeger to block Nina from watching the live stream due to her battle with cancer. Her fragile health cannot withstand the emotional distress. He appeals to Jaeger's humanity, but Jaeger callously dismisses the notion, prioritizing profit over decency. Eventually, Alexander reluctantly agrees to wear the branded sweatshirt. As nearly three hours elapse, Alexander educates the viewers on the grim reality. An anti-personnel mind cannot be disarmed, only maneuvered by placing an iron plate laden with stones between the foot and sole to attempt to step off safely. Despite his plea for seriousness, Jaeger continues to read out ludicrous suggestions from viewers on how to rescue him. In a pivotal moment, Jaeger contacts Alina once more. Concerned about the backlash from the live stream's controversial content, Alina advises ending the broadcast to mitigate potential fallout, warning of the detrimental impact on their contracts. However, Jaeger's obsession with garnering views eclipses any concern for consequences. He declares his indifference to financial gain, prioritizing viewership even at the expense of Alexander's life. Alina, realizing the extent of Jaeger's derangement, takes matters into her own hands, alerting the rescuers to the dire situation. After enduring three and a half agonizing hours atop the mine, Alexander confronts Jaeger, realizing that he never called for help as promised. Desperate, he demands to contact emergency services immediately, but Jaeger callously dismisses his plea, tossing the phone at his feet and suggesting they seek a signal elsewhere. Jaeger, more concerned with entertaining his bored subscribers, pressures Alexander to step off the mine. In a twisted attempt to coerce Alexander, Jaeger belittles his past struggles, insinuating that he was a nobody before this incident, incapable of affording even a decent phone, let alone his daughter's surgery. 
Jaeger manipulatively promises to donate 5 million for Nina's treatment if Alexander complies, and even offers financial assistance for Alexander's own recovery if he survives. Despite the enticing promises of wealth and fame, Alexander remains steadfast. Resuming the livestream, Jaeger's shameless self-promotion escalates, pushing Alexander to a breaking point. He implores viewers for help, disclosing their approximate location. Infuriated, Jaeger halts the broadcast, threatening to reveal Alexander's grim future to his daughter unless he cooperates. Reluctantly, Alexander capitulates on camera, falsely affirming that everything is under control and Jaeger did indeed summon emergency services. Jaeger shamelessly segues into advertising a power bank, prompting Alexander to deliver an impassioned address to the viewers. He condemns their apathy and moral bankruptcy, denouncing their obsession with likes and views above all else. Meanwhile, Alan continues his journey, haunted by memories of the day when Alexander, among a group of skinheads, fatally assaulted his sister at a concert. Despite facing no consequences for his actions, Alexander's past transgressions weigh heavily on Alan's conscience as he races to the scene. Four hours and 18 minutes elapsed when Jaeger's attention was drawn to a subscriber's message indicating that someone was on their way to rescue Alexander. Learning that the rescuer's name was Alan, Jaeger's nerves frayed visibly, realizing that if this Alan was the same person, his intentions weren't benign. Alan's children, observing Jaeger's response, decided to send him a photo of a younger Alexander. As Jaeger scrutinized the image, attempting to identify a notable figure, Alexander interjected with a startling proposition. Whether his offer to transfer money for his daughter remained valid if he chose to sacrifice himself live. This revelation left Jaeger reeling, understanding the gravity of Alexander's predicament and the potential to save Nina. Shaken by Alexander's past, Jaeger demands to know who Alan is and declares that he will only transfer the money after he steps off the mine. They begin to argue and suddenly, to everyone's astonishment, the mine beneath Alexander's foot remains inert, failing to detonate. Suddenly aware of the danger, Jaeger retreats, only to find himself in the same perilous position Alexander endured for hours. The man can't believe that justice prevailed and, after taunting the blogger, he intends to leave. Jaeger admits that he didn't actually call the emergency services and begs for forgiveness and to be saved, but instead of that, Alexander just urinates on his legs, takes his phone, and silently walks away. Upon noticing a signal on Jaeger's phone, Alexander contacts his wife to ensure Nina's safety and requests to speak with her. He reassures his daughter that the mind threat was merely a cruel joke. Determined to rectify the situation, Alexander finally dials emergency services for Jaeger's rescue. But before help can arrive, a sudden explosion rocks the area, and the man immediately runs towards the blogger. Despite sustaining a grievous injury to his left shin, Alexander swiftly applies a tourniquet with a belt, saving Jaeger's life. The unfolding drama continues to captivate viewers as Alexander, with sheer determination, carries Jaeger to the roadside and halts Alan's car. Acknowledging the repercussions of his past actions, Alexander implores Alan to take Jaeger to the hospital, accepting his own fate. However, the encounter takes a grim turn when Alan, after assisting Alexander with Jaeger, suddenly attacks him with a knife, inflicting multiple wounds to his abdomen. In the throes of his injuries, Alexander manages to connect with his daughter, Nina, one last time, thanks to Alan's assistance. In a poignant moment, Alan reveals that his own sister shared Nina's name before driving off, leaving Alexander alone on the road to confront his fate. Meanwhile, Jaeger awakens in the hospital, unaware of the grim events that transpired after his rescue. The doctor informs him that without Alexander's quick thinking and application of the tourniquet, his survival would have been uncertain. Oblivious to Alexander's ultimate fate, Jaeger promptly fulfills his promise, transferring 5 million for Nina's treatment, a testament to his gratitude and the debt owed to the man who saved his life. Meanwhile, Alina and Katya celebrate their new project and discuss the unfortunate incident involving Jaeger. However, Alina swiftly assures Katya that all the funds from his recent contracts have been securely deposited into her account, and Alina proposes a bold plan to invest them into promoting Catch's blog, envisioning its potential for even greater success. Which of the characters impressed you the most, and how would you have acted if you were in one of their places? Share your thoughts in the comments below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next videos.